Now we're going to talk a little bit about phosphorylation of target proteins. Once active, PKA phosphorylates a variety of target proteins, leading to changes in their activity, such as in the heart. These proteins include an L-type calcium channel and proteins involved in calcium handling and contraction. Things like troponin and then myosin binding protein C, again, causes the actual contraction to occur in the heart. All right, let's go into some cardiac effects that involve PKA and the G protein coupled receptor scenario. So the phosphorylation of these target proteins leads to their activation or inactivation, causing effects such as increased cardiac contractility or a positive inotrope, increase in heart rate, a positive chronotrope, and a faster relaxation. In terms of vasoactive drugs, PKA also plays a role in vascular smooth muscle relaxation. 